oh does my office need some work but I will show you what I have right now this is the uh, fear of the dark flag I love it it's like my favorite and then I made that in high school <laughs> I have my jackets that I sometimes wear either around the house or outside so mind you we're moving and so there's stuff everywhere okay um this is like my makeshift office since i've been working from home that's going to be ending soon but this is where it's been happening <laughs> and this is going to be like my craft area like i have my sewing machine behind my laptop my supplies those are my like sketchbooks and those are painting supplies so that is a turntable like all-in-one almost kind of thing that was going to be temporary until i got this but i ended up getting this <sighs> that's just an attic no big deal. so right now i have my old vhs tapes here you know i i kind of happen to randomly get these so i didn't really have a spot picked out for it yet and in an effort to try to get boxes out of everywhere i just started unpacking things and throwing them up and to like this bookcase, which this is really nice and big. So I can um, go more into my collections at some point. Like I have photo albums here of who I've met and gotten pictures with, my music books, like literally piano books, like actual music books. And like there's theory here. This was my literal textbook that I actually won at college and I won it by like a landslide, which was funny, right? me and music knowledge and trivia that not a surprise so here I have like my favorite bands I can easily reference when I'm in the mood for my absolute favorite thing so I got Alice Cooper right here um crazy licks new religion my ultimate album of theirs stay tuned for my review of that and of course Duff Leopard there's Dokken, Ghost, of course, Night Ranger, and Richard Marks. Me in a nutshell, probably. <laughs> Here is like just all of my Def Leppard stuff there, like book related, crazy on its own. This is my work area. This is where I write for Cryptees. I'm planning on editing my music videos or YouTube videos. <laughs> I mean, I've been thinking and missing being in a band, but not at the music video level yet. Um, but just got this really nice new PC. Just wanted to make something nice to be able to write at. So those are the things I've been working on recently and that I'm going to have coming out soon. Keep looking out. So here I just have basically my books that I kind of need to function as a daily per <laughs> as a person daily um, to keep my mind sane. Also journal, so those are some of my journals. And I mean it's crazy right now, I usually have all my pens in this, but I was just writing my bullet journal. So I mean nothing much, you know. But uh, over here, so I have this separated. I mean, it's not super ideal, but it's not super terrible. And I'm thinking about changing this slightly, but basically I have my gaming set up right here. Before I show you my gaming area, I will um, kind of show you some of my walls right here for now. Not even sure if I'm keeping all this right here. It's just, again, honestly, if you guys have ideas, I, I prefer getting ideas because this is just a lot to think about. <laughs> so my idea with these cassette tapes is to do this kind of system around the borders. So once I get those, I'm going to keep doing that. And the rest of my cassette tapes are down below. Um, just my different DVDs, horror, music. 80s when I'm in the 80s and Star Trek 
And then here I have my Stephen King collection. This is my vanity that we were sorting Zach's things on, so that's just a whole other mess in itself. But other than the decoration and my controllers, this is my little setup here. I've got extra storage right here. I've got different storages right here. So I'll have my iPad either playing music or I'll have it playing AVGN. <laughs> like I'll either play along with it like this or something or uh, you know, just whatever. I have my snacks. I'm you know, a place to put my drink that's away from, like, the technology stuff. Like, those are just, like, things to put my phone on so I can record. So maybe I can, like, film playing videos, like video games or something. Um, speaking of playing video games, I was playing Metroid, and I was at the end, full tanked, as much as you can get. And I even got the uh, little things in the middle all done. And I went back, refueled, was gonna come back. My AC adapter decided to like unplug itself or something because I looked over one day and it said Metroid. Mm. When I'm not angry enough to restart it again. <laughs> um, I mean, still angry, I'm gonna be angry, but when I've cooled off a bit, who wants to see me actually, like, play the whole th thing through and actually fucking beat it for once? <laughs> so, let me know. Um, but yeah, so, forget where I was at really, but I watch Angry Video Game Nerd on that. I mean, I love it, it's just, that's how I am. I think it's just a thing when you play the NES especially. Like, it's just angering. <laughs> and, yeah, I love my 64, that's fun. Here I have my cassette tapes for the most part. This is the gist of them. Whatever's not hanging up above or in the stereo is right here. And speaking of N64, the rest of my things for it are here. It's for the TV. Those are computer games, and so I can actually play them on my PC now, which is exciting. So, yes, and Game Boy games. Like, I have my SP here. What well, was my brother's SP? I had a black one. <laughs> His is silver. This is my advanced, though. And I have a DSi XL. And this is my 3DS. That, alright, is of course. Of course. So, welcome to my world of Robin. <laughs> and this is my NES stuff. So this is the controller that this came with. So I have a different NES here. So let's have it in all its glory. I have a sentimental NES that I am not playing right now. Um, just so I can keep it nice. I got it fixed and it does work, but Playing this one that I got on eBay that came with a bunch of stuff. So this is the second tr controller for that. I had recently found my original controllers for that. Um, that was left at my mom. So I uh, have those that I have yet. I want to keep it separate from this one. Them. Just cause those were mine. Like mine. <laughs> and the RF switch so I can play on this thing. And yes, it all works and everything. I just have been too lazy to hook it up again. This is so I can play on my PC. So I can actually stream when I'm playing these things and maybe record it better. But I'm just trying to beat it on Metroid, I mean. Like, on the original system. Like, come on. Come on. Let this 80s girl, wannabe 80s girl, just live it out. So... This is the box, and there's another controller that, oh, that that mini came with, and that's that. So, 
And this is something that my dad has had that I have just kept. Because it's just old. It's Nintendo. It's this old calendar. <laughs> So just keep it with my other NES things. And this is the original box for my game. This is my favorite game of all time. On this my favorite system of all time. Like it's just how it is. So when I bought that this NES here, it came with all three of those and Yoshi. Original, keeping it nice. And so, uh, these are my games. Back to the Future, Castlevanias 1 and 3, and Contra, Donkey Kong, this is Golf. <laughs> so, Zelda 1 and 2, yeah, this is Terminator 2. <laughs> I haven't played it yet. I've heard all of the Terminator games are pretty much awful, but, um, can't help it. I, <laughs> I got it when I first started getting this again because I'm like, I don't care, it's Terminator and I just want to try it out for myself. <laughs> and Top Gun. So, good stuff here. I'm really excited to get more because I can play a lot of other stuff on here. Like, I can play Ghostbusters on here. I can play Friday the 13th on here. I can play Dr. Mario on here. There's all kinds of stuff. So, it's my little set up for now. I'm just so excited to be able to watch things on here. And I'm happy that this works. So happy this works. Here's my childhood right there. That master of puppets. 